That um, is one of the good things about this team. We're able to believe whatever, believe in whatever Brad draws up. Um, you know, if, if it's good play, bad play, whatever it is, we all believe in it. And I think that always helps because you're able to just read and react after that. I mean, one of the plays that he drew up um, when Jonas Drevko hit the shot, I mean, it was for me to lay the ball up. But um, it was a, a play that I knew that if they helped, Jonas would be wide open and um, he was able to knock down the shot. But, you know, those are all plays that Brad makes, and then it's our job to go out there and, and make sure that we make the next right play. Um, definitely. You know, it's not easy to <clears throat> with the game like that to, to, to come up with a great play. And, uh, you know, you just got to uh, commend Brad for that. He does a great job uh, night in and night out. And uh, like every said, you know, whether the play is good or bad, it's on us to react. You know, he puts us in the right position to succeed, and, and it's, it's on us to, to to follow through with it. And he made a great play. Um, Al made a good screen. Jay made a great cut, and Avery did his job. Jared White, CLNS Media. Avery, on that play, what was the point where you went from going for the layup and seeing the Cavs collapse on you, and then making the kick out to Jonas? Pardon? Uh, how was it? Like, what was going through your head? when you were driving and the Cavs collapsed on you and then you made the kick out to Jonas? Well, I knew um, LeBron was going to help. I knew I was going to, you know, suck the defense in and it was my job to, you know, sh act like I was going to lay the ball up and kick it out to Jonas. I told Jonas to make sure he was ready. I wish he shot a three. <laughs> but, um, I mean, I I'm just happy for Jonas. He was prepared and ready to shoot the ball. And, you know, he made some really big plays for our team tonight. and. He made the most of his opportunity. I mean, Jonas went games without playing, and, and now he was able to come in and make some really big plays for us tonight. And um, I just want him to keep being ready to shoot the ball because we're going to make sure we find him. Avery Marcus, Gary Washington, Boston Globe. Can you describe the last 48 hours? I mean, the post Friday morning, I'm sure you guys are really down about that. Then the Isaiah blow on Saturday but then to come back and do this. Can you just kind of describe how you guys kind of got yourselves together to, to be able to do this? It was hard. Um, you know, it was embarrassing. I know everyone leaving the arena after the last game, we were pretty down. But um, once we were able to get together the next day, we decided that we're just going to go out and play hard. Whatever happens, happens. We're going to go put our with our backs against the wall, out swinging. We're going to go and play as hard as we can. We're going to be the toughest team. We're going to battle for the loose balls. We're going to play hard for con consistently the entire game. We wanted to be that team. And that was our mindset. We never <clears throat> counted ourselves out. We knew that if we came out and played hard, we would give ourselves a chance. And you saw that tonight. And we're going to continue to play that way throughout the series. Um, definitely, I said it before. You know, we definitely miss Isaiah. So <clears throat> after that game, um, you know, him leaving um, after the first half, and and you know, we really not knowing what's going on, and then we we get our heads smashed in, and you know, you look up into those Raptors and see those fans that have been there through you all year, and you know, their heads down, and some you know, you know, talking to you. Um, it was embarrassing. You know, you want to do it for those guys, especially. And then it sends out a text and let us know he's not going to be with us anymore. Uh, that was devastating. You know, he's a big key to this team, but not just to this team as, as for him as a player, but as a human being, you know, he's a great person. And, and you know, he, uh, everybody gets along with our team. So, you know, we lost our brother um, who couldn't be in this battle with us. Uh, you know, we understand it. You know, we thank him for it. But, you know, he just kept talking to us. You know, we, we can still do it. You know, everybody else counted us out. We kept believing in ourselves. And we came in tonight into hostile territory, and we did our job. Avery, Steve Belpat, Boston Herald. First couple of games, when they made plays, made any shots, and you guys, you seem as a group to deflate a little bit. You talked about that, but how much does it, like Marcus's attitude, when things go like that, he seems to get more pissed off. How did that help? I think it team? helped us <clears throat> helped us out a lot. I mean, they're going to make plays. It's our job to just make sure we're out there playing basketball, not complaining. That was the main thing for us tonight. I mean, the the foul count wasn't where we wanted it to be. And, you know, we can't complain about that. We can't control that. All we can control is the way that we play. And I kept telling everybody, we can't complain because it's, it's hurting us on the offensive end because you're thinking about it. You just have to go out there and play the game of basketball. And um, 
if we continue to play that way and stick together and play hard no matter what adversity we go through, I feel like um, you know we're, we're going to be the best team that we can be. And it showed tonight. Um, we had some, a, a few times down the floor where we were complaining, but um, you know, and it ended up hurting us on both ends of the floor. But um, we got over it, and we were able to stick together at the end of the game and, and make some big plays. Um, and I think it started with Marcus Smart how poised he was at the end of the game. He was able to get us in our sets and um, make the right play, make some really big plays for our team tonight. For both of you guys, they're in control of the series. They're in control of the game in the third quarter, up 21. What changed at that point? How were you guys able to find whatever it was deep down inside and come back and win this game? Um, it was just us. You know, everybody in this locker room, uh, on this team, <clears throat> has been told couldn't do something or had somebody, you know, that, that really didn't believe in us. Uh, and we just kind of put that together and all in one. And we just, like Avery said, we just told each other that no matter what happened, we got to be the hardest playing team. We just got to go out there and play. And that's what we did. Everybody kept believing in one another. And the biggest thing we did tonight uh, that we did um, back at home uh, that we didn't do tonight was we didn't argue with each other. We argued with each other a little bit uh, in those two losses back at home, um, and, and that really hurt us also. Tonight we were just really positive with one another, and we came out, and, and Brad, whatever he drew up, we tried to go out there and execute it to the best of our ability, and shots started falling for us. Avery, if I can just follow up, LeBron had three in the second half, 11 for the game. Defensively, what, what did you guys do to slow him down? I feel like Jay, guys like Jay Crowder and um, – Al Horford, whoever switched on them, they did a great job. I mean, like I said, we, we understand not only him, but Kyrie, they're going to make tough shots. Um, it's our job to make sure that we try to make everything hard on them and um, have a, a mindset to chip away. And what I mean by chip away is not try to win the game or get back in the game with one shot, just forcing up shots. We understood that we needed to move the ball around get good shots and get con continuous stops on the defensive end. And, um, you know, that's big. And for a team that um, you could say that is a, a young team, we came out here and I feel like we, we, we matured tonight with the way that we played. We were able to stick together, get consistent stops. I mean, we're playing against a really good team. And LeBron, we understand that he's going to – down the stretch of the game, he's going to make plays for his team. And I feel like we did a great job trying to box guys out, um, defending him. He's a tough guard, but, you know, we really did a good job of forcing everything, uh, making everything hard on him. And, um, you know, Marcus did a great job on Kyrie tonight. And it's our job to make sure that we have that same mindset next game because if we don't, we're not going to have a chance to win the game. Marcus, Mark D'Amico, Celtics.com. Uh, you've known for the last 24 hours that this moment was coming and that you were going to start this game. And not to say that you prepared any differently, but you had to have had some different thoughts going through your head leading into this game as, to, as opposed to a regular one when you're coming off the bench. Can you walk us through just what your thoughts were and what your mindset was coming into this, this game? Um, <clears throat> really just coming in is, you know, I just kept telling myself, you know, we, you have nothing to lose. Just go out there and play, you know. Um, you know, you've been working hard uh, throughout this whole year on your game. Just let it, let, just let it flow and let it show. And uh, you know, these guys, they did a really good job, and the coaching staff are just, you know, keep encouraging me, uh, especially when my shot hasn't been falling, um, free throws, you know, missing those. They just really been on me and stand on me to, <coughs> excuse me, to, to stay positive and keep going. So you know, coming into this game, I just really wanted to stay positive with myself and and make sure that I could do everything that I could do to help my team, whether that was scoring, passing the ball, playing defense, and, and whatever it was tonight, I, I had a great shooting night. Um, and, and that was huge for us. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys.